Today is going to be a requested video tutorial. I have been asked many times how many shots of espresso do you put in your iced Americano depending on the cup size. Americano is one of the most popular coffee drinks these days, especially for those that are looking to reduce their milk intake and also for those that simply do not like milk in their drinks. So today it is going to be iced Americano in three different cup sizes. 12, 16, 22 ounces, or in Starbucks cup sizes, it is tall, grande, and venti. Before we continue, click that subscribe button. For those that have already got a copy of my book, The Basic Barista, you will have all the recipes there, including one shot is equal to how many grams of espresso and how many grams of coffee beans or what is the dose of coffee beans that you will use for each of those espresso shots and the time that it will take to extract or to pull those shots. Now, let's go back to Starbucks. When Starbucks make their iced Americano, they have what they call tall sizes and for that it is typically two shots of espresso. One shot of espresso at Starbucks is 30 grams, so two shots will be about 60 grams. And for their 16 ounces or their grande, they use three shots of espresso. So that would be about 90 grams of espresso. And for their venti or the 22 ounces cup, they use four shots of espresso or a quad. That means about 120 grams of espresso. Now that's Starbucks, exactly how they pull those shots. That is um, something that you might wish to find out. But then today, I am going to show you how I make my ice Americano in these three cup sizes. I am going to use my 100% Arabica, single origin, high quality Arabica from Northern Chiang Mai. This is a house blend. And I'm going to use just water. Well, Americano is just your espresso shots add water. Americano drinkers typically do not like their drinks sweetened, but then there are also those that like it a little bit sweet. So you can use many different types of sweeteners. Today, I'm going to use three different types. I'm going to use plain sugar syrup for one of them, and I'm going to use honey. Actually, this is really, really good. You add honey, it just makes it a lot better and also healthier. And for those that like it to be a little bit more flavored and also sweet, I am going to use hazelnut. Hazelnut Americano. Why ever not? And if you are going to make all these three cup sizes, I also have my ice portion cups here, which come in 12 ounces, 16 ounces, and 20 ounces. So that means to say it is not anymore up to you how much ice you have to put in each of these cups. I'm going to show you the proportion of water that you need to put into these cups as well. But in reality, it really is the espresso that makes that matters the most for all of these tricks. Now, here are my recipes. For my 12 ounces, I'm going to use 10 to 12 grams of ground coffee, and then I'm going to pull 30 to 45 grams of espresso within 25 seconds. For my 16 ounces, I'm going to use 18 grams of coffee beans, and I'm going to pull a double shot full 60 grams of espresso in about 25 to 29 seconds. And for my grand, for my venti, which is the 22 ounces cup, I am going to use 18 to 20 grams of ground coffee and I'm going to pull a long shot. I'm going to pull 90 grams or three shots of espresso within 35 seconds. So at least 25 seconds to 35 seconds. So those are the proportions that I use for all of these three cups. Let's go ahead and make our drinks. Let's start with the 12 ounces. For this, I'm going to first add one cup of ice here and then water. I go with about 90 ml or three ounces. And because I'd like it to be a little bit sweeter, I'm going to use my sugar syrup and here I'm going to use 10 to 15 ml. This is entirely optional. One pump is 10, so I'm going to put one and a half pump. And then at this point, just give it a stir. And then pour your espresso shot over. And this is ice Americano in 12 ounce cup. Next, let's make our ice Americano in 16 ounces. Now I'm going to make this honey ice Americano. 
I'm going to use my honey lychee here, which is pure concentrated. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dilute this, a little bit of this in hot water. So here is my honey syrup. That is technically just the honey. About half of that and half is hot water. So this is 20 ml of my honey lychee syrup. So let's assemble the drink. For the 16 ounces, what we need will be, again, I'm going to use my portion ice scoop, which is equal to 16 ounces water. Here it is 4 ounces or 120 ml. And then we're going to add our flavor, which is the honey lychee. Now just give it a stir to combine the honey with the water and now we're going to pour our espresso over. So this is 60 ml or two shots of espresso. Honey lychee Americano in 16 ounce cup. And for my final drink, this is a 22 ounces cup size and I'm going to make it hazelnut ice Americano. So I'm going to use my hazelnut syrup here. I am going to use my portion ice scoop, which is 20 ounces. Pour ice into the cup. 5 ounces or 150 ml. And for the sweetener hazelnut, I'm going to add 1 ounce. So this is 7.5. I'm going to put 4 pumps. 1, 2, 3, 4. Might be too sweet for some of you, but then you can always adjust this according to your own preferences. Now stir. And now to pour our espresso shot. For this espresso shot, I'm going to use a long shot. This is 90 grams of espresso. So pour into your cup and you have your ice hazelnut americano in 22 ounces cup 16 and 12 ounces so there you go very very easy to make ice americano the key is making those perfect espresso shots and it really depends on your dose, the yield, and also the time to extract. So make sure you perfect those. If you get your perfect espresso shots, you are going to get delicious Americano drinks. Okay, so maybe just to give each one of these a try, and maybe I could recommend which one should you go for. And uh, considering the amount of espresso shots in each of these cups, really it's just being diluted over and over again. So which one would taste best? I'm going to tell you in a bit. Mm. I like this. Now let me try the others before I tell you which one is my favorite. Mm. It just adds a little bit more of that honey and uh, fruity taste, making this a bit more fruity than normal. Mm. Wow. Now, the first taste was the coffee the espresso shots that we put in and what lingers at the end is the hazelnut that is uh, quite surprisingly delicious so which one is my favorite well to be honest i would go for the one which is in 12 ounces cup and this is more like a short shot if you're using a ristretto shot of um, 45 grams from 18 grams of coffee beans and the fact that it is only sugar syrup you know no other extra flavor added into this so it's just basically more of the coffee taste personally this is my favorite but for some you might like the hazelnut especially for those that love hazelnut it's just a matter of preference. So if you have any questions at all about any of these recipes, do let me know. All these recipes are also in my book, The Basic Barista. So if you haven't yet got the copy, do check out the description box below for details on how to order. I will have more in store for you in 2024, including topics about how to start or what are the factors that you need to consider when you are going to start a coffee shop factors to consider when you're going to start a bubble tea shop and also factors to consider if you're going to start a shop either bubble tea or milk or coffee shop that you intend to franchise in the meantime take care stay safe happy new year once again thank you for watching ciao for now